Welcome back, everyone. We are in no means experts on any of the topics we are about to discuss. We are, however, lifelong friends, along with a slew of the guests we will have joining us. There's nothing we love to do more than a, to voice our opinions on multiple topics. Some of you will agree with us, some of you won't. We could honestly care less either way. We just hope you enjoy the banner. So without further ado, we encourage you to sit back, relax, and welcome to the chat. I'm your host, Michael McCall, along with my lovely co-host... Jared, hello. Who got it right this time. We're making improvements. <laughs> so we have two very special guests with us today. The first one is a recurring guest from the previous episode, Willie, or Bryce Williams, if you don't remember. He's, well, yeah, he's here. <laughs> that's he, that's he's real. Here. That's real. You'll, you'll get over <laughs> it. You know what? And, I'm leaving. Goodbye. And J- Jared, Jared, go ahead and... Introduce our new guest. Our new guest. His name is Michael. I've known him for quite a while. We met from. Well, uh, we both had Subarus, I think. And Super then, gang. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, we've just been really good friends ever since. We went to Star Wars Celebration. Like, what is that? 2018 was it? Uh-huh. I think it was 2019. Oh, either way. It was it was the last one before COVID, yeah. Because then they didn't have one for a while. Anyways, that's our, our guest, Michael. Hello. Say hi to everyone. <laughs> My name is Michael. Nice to meet you all. <laughs> all right. And speaking of... Cookie cutter, I love it. Yep. Speaking of Star Wars, <laughs> though, uh, that is going to be our topic for this episode, is we're going to talk some Star Wars. We got... And or the new series uh, set to come out on Disney Plus, what, the 21st, I believe, right? Comes out in about I a week? So. Yeah, that sounds correct. That sounds, so, right. that sounds right. A couple, of, like couple of weeks, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Close enough. It's 10... It's 11, 12 Be honest, days. Be I didn't even I didn't even know it was coming out. My girlfriend told me. She's like, oh, <laughs> that new Star Wars show is coming out. I was like, what? Oh. Yeah. And I was like, what? And she's like, yeah. I was like... Does it have Jedi in it? And she was like, <laughs> no. <laughs> and I was like, well, all right, cool. <laughs> no, it's well, you know, maybe there's rumors there that Ahsoka's are. gonna show up in it. Oh, which I mean, see, I didn't my, even know that. One of, <laughs> one of my all-time favorite characters. I'm sure we're gonna get into that, but just yeah, like, throw it out there early. Yeah, but um. No, it's literally it's the whole marketing for it so far is literally the, it's the very beginning of the rebellion. Right. Uh, it looks like Mon Mothma's in it. Obviously, Cassian Andor from Rogue One is the center focus. Um, mm-hmm. Oof, and him joining best Star Wars movie of all time. Best Star Wars movie. Mm, <laughs> that's a statement <laughs> for sure. <laughs> <laughs> You know how I, you know how I said I was like gonna leave. Now I'm actually <laughs> leaving. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, Rogue One is easily the best Disney Star Wars movie. Accurate, yes. true, for Accurate. sure, and yes. it's not and even the, close. And it's definitely the N- not even. It's close. definitely the best Star Wars movie of the 21st century. But I would yes. yes, and I would honestly, I would even put it on par with A New Hope. But it is not better than. Empire or Return of the Jedi. Or the Phantom Menace. (laughs) 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 Uh, I just started laughing because I was like, there's no way he's serious, right? Okay, okay. you know what? Since since this got brought up and we're we're going through, now I'm curious. All right, uh, Waylon, what is your Star Wars rank? Like, what is your list of movies? Like, best to worst? Okay. (laughs) <laughs> so best to worst i am gonna say episode three is my favorite just because of the darth vader shit that they threw in it but i don't know it's it's on it's on par with return of the jedi though i liked return of the jedi probably just as much as revenge of the sith okay but i i don't know then it goes probably uh, Empire Strikes Back, then A New Hope, and then episode... <sighs> probably, honestly, episode 7. 
because that was actually not bad. That's yeah, that is <laughs> yeah. It wasn't. It terrible. was. A, it was a bold like introduction to Disney's Star Wars that gave everyone. So hope. I, I, oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, my audio cut out real quick. We're talking about the first movie in the new trilogy, correct? Yeah, yeah. Force Awakens. Force Awakens uh, yeah. It, it was good. Like I had such high hopes. It really, yeah, it like, left off. I feel like there is no way you could live up to the hype, though. And then, Everyone was so hyped for Star Wars to come out again. And yet that, they like, did with, with Force Awakens. Yeah. And you're like, yeah. Yeah, I, I, was like I came out of that later. lit. Like, I was like, I came out of that theater, and I was like, let's Dude, go. Was, don't get me wrong. I literally like, stayed up that the rest of that night watching every other movie. Uh, in order. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, I didn't do that, but. I didn't yeah. have to work the next day. I had nothing <laughs> well, going on. So that was, I just decided to stay up. Yeah, and then we sadly got to go and experience Ugh. the d- disappointment of the next two together. Oh, oh God. yikes! Yeah, it was. I went to the last one with Michael. Yeah, because we had a private showing. We had our uh, early private showing. Yeah. It was like a day or two before it even came out. So not yeah. worth it at all. And I was so <laughs> so hyped, no. so I hyped, was and the. Oh, dude, so was I. <laughs> I was hammered when we went. The introduction I went... was so good with, like, the fucking... Oh, was it Mustafar that they started off on? No, no. it was... Uh... It was, uh... Oh, no, it was. Was yeah. it? I think it was. Yeah, yeah, because it was, like... It was Kylo, like, mowing down Yeah, bitches. and, like, it wasn't as lava-y, lava-y anymore and stuff. I don't, like, I don't I think, think it was, it was There was trees growing. I don't think it was yeah. It was, was not bro. Mustafar. I don't think it was Mustafar. It was... I I'm swear gonna to God. Right we're gonna yeah, pretty sure it was. If anything, <laughs> like, that... Oh. So... In my personal opinion, Ryan Johnson, like, as much as, like, he's a great director. Like, Knives Out is one of, I love that movie. Ooh, true. And he's, That's a great movie. But he tried so hard to be, he, yeah. he tried too hard and basically killed, I would say, to me, I would say he killed the Disney trilogy within the first 10 minutes of his movie the second the second luke grabbed the lightsaber from ray and literally just and chucked it. it it's like oh <laughs> yeah that was that was bad and then and then like because... later what it was that was still in the same sequence where he has where he goes and gets that <laughs> freaking milk whatever yeah, that you want to call that that made me uncomfortable I... Was that episode nine? I can't even remember. No, it was eight. It was, it was eight. eight. Yeah, okay, it was that's eight. what I thought. That's what I thought. Hot take. I like that movie more than like that one's my one of my favorites of the like final. Three I need an there. explanation. The I need hype, an explanation. The hype with nine though was. I think you got Emperor's so much hate, return. and it's like Nickelback right no, now. No, it's really not like Nickelback. Because... Nickelback. I don't care what like anyone Nickelback, says. Bro. Nickelback is solid. <laughs> I tell the you what, you, you go. <laughs> episode uh, <laughs> eight is garbage. It's not good, but it's not as bad as everyone gives it. Like not everyone good. hates on it. I would, but the team up with Ray and Kylo. Only good part of the movie. Fighting. Oh only my good God, part. So and lit. it still wasn't even a very well executed like fight scene. No, it could no. have been. I mean, so when you cut better. it down frame Boy, by were... frame, it was like it had mistakes <laughs> and stuff. But bro, come on. It wasn't and then that Snoke bad. just like fucking died. Like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's what Ryan Johnson literally, he just threw away, he threw away everything. Like, I tell you what, I'll send you guys some YouTube videos that will, will at least get you thinking that, all right, maybe it's not as bad as everyone. I <laughs> doubt it, it, but I'll probably still watch them. It's it's worth the watch. Trust like me, he's supposed you're like, to be okay, this hyped not. up villain, and like all he's of a just sudden dies. he just right. dies. Just, and you're like, okay. we, and we never get action. a real answer about who the fuck, fuck he, he was, was, unless unless I just blocked out well, Rise of Skywalker so because did. of how so bad they, it was. They, Episode they, nine. They is he is he a clone? The they insinuate he, he's a yes. clone of the Emperor. They don't come a out and say it, but they they very strongly hint that he is literally. The yeah, Emperor, literally, literally. because the beginning, Incarnate. the Emperor's like, I was the voices inside your yeah. head, and it and like, yeah, goes the voice through like, all so the villains. Yeah, you literally, that was like, they bring in this Force Dyad, they bring in Snoke, they set up everything to make it, like, everything sounds awesome. 
And then their episode nine comes along in the first five minutes. Palpatine, for some reason, is back and is like, <laughs> and no, like, no, no, I, not for some reason. He's like, I did somehow all he returns. Of, well, also that he's like, <laughs> I did all of it. I on on the note of that though, when they announced that, Michael and I were at Star Wars Celebration, and we we didn't go to that specific showing, like of the preview. But uh, we heard from everyone that. Uh, the guy who plays the Emperor came out and he was like, "Play it again." That's fair. I do love Ian. What? How's his last name pronounced? McDer- McDonald. McDermid. Mc- McDermid. Something like McDonald. that. Yeah. No, no he's no. he's great. McDonald. <laughs> <laughs> old, old McDonald. No, no but road. he's. I I I do love I do love him. I love how much he's really embraced Palpatine and oh, the yeah. fandom. No, and he's great. great. Because every I mean, he's everyone lit. Because everyone was lit about like, it. What the originals? Yeah. yeah, he was the OG Palpatine. Yeah, you know? so like he's committed. Mm-hmm. Like just the fact that like every single outing he does somewhere, he's we... he's always just do it, do it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it too. We we saw him. I think like we didn't go we and saw see him, him close. walking, and then all of a sudn C three PO was like right in front of us. Oh. Yeah, the dude who plays C three PO, Anthony right Daniels. And we were like, oh yeah, yeah. We literally, literally walking feet right away in front of us. From, yeah, we were like, oh shit, dope. <laughs> yeah, it was sick. I think I think Michael was sad because Hayden Christensen wasn't there. Aww. He dude. left. He left. Yeah, dude. He left. All he of a sudden, they went on the intercom and were like, Hayden Christensen. That left. is. Or that is. Like that. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> that was one of the things so, I was so excited about with Kenobi. Was... Yeah, let's transition to Kenobi because we haven't even talked Ooh. about Andor, bro. We just went on. <laughs> hey, man. Well, well, it hasn't come out yet. Come out yet. Come we'll out get yet. there. You... Yeah, to be fair, there's nothing to really talk about other than it's supposedly a prequel to Rogue One, and then we... apparently Ahsoka is going to be in. We are. Does it come Rebels. after Rebels? Like that's no, no. It's before. Like I said, it's literally the. It is before. It is the birth of the rebellion. Beginning of the rebellion. Like we're. Oh yeah, that's fair. It, it gets me excited for the possibilities because if they really wanted they to, they have a live action Hera casted. They have a live action Sabine casted. Not to mention, they me- already have. Ooh. Not to Chomper mention, they around. could bring in the Bad Batch if they like. Assuming the Bad Batch Oof. doesn't die in season two, which I don't know why they would. I don't know why they also, would either. Well, it comes out after. I would love so... to see Tamora Morrison. And... It does. <laughs> it does come out after. Uh, is it after or is it conjoined? I think it. I thought it was conjoined. It's in no, October. It's is it? It oh, yeah. shit. Um, but no, we literally were just using Andor as an excuse to talk about Star Wars. Now to what we really <laughs> wanted to discuss. <laughs> but no, yeah. So Kenobi. But no, I know me and Willie were both like that's what we loved going into Obi One before it even started was the fact that it brought. Christensen, Hayden Christensen back to Star Wars. Oh my god. And the like all the fans the finally embraced went away. Well, like, to be fair, to be fair, at how no, at the beginning, like with that trilogy. It was never Hayden's fault. I know. It was the so, writing. Looking back he in, was doing looking, what he was told. Looking back in hindsight, like <laughs> he was really good in the original trilogy, like trying to do what he's what he was going for. Absolutely. Uh it's just it's just the writing was the writing was poor. poor so, and he everything. did exactly he did it exactly how George Lucas wanted absolutely. him. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And looking back at it, and then what? But what really? I feel like what really opened everyone's mind to it and like made them pull back on the hate was literally Last Jedi. Time. Was, well, time and how shitty the two Disney ones were. Accurate. Force Awakens excluded. <laughs> it was just like holy because I I would rather sit and listen to Hayden Christensen talk about sand for two hours <laughs> than watch Rise of Skywalker again. It's coarse. It gets everywhere. <laughs> that is an accurate statement. <laughs> so, like, so seeing him coming back and physically being in the suit the entire time, it's not oh, like he just came yeah. for the flashbacks. Yeah, but He was on set every day he wore in the suit. Too, under... And- it, under the mask, he had makeup. Yeah, on. it was. Yep, he had the scar. And then and all the fandom, <laughs> wow, just embracing him back again made me happy. And him and the and oh yeah, Hayden yep. and Hayden and everyone yep. hated oh, on dude. him so much. Hayden and the James Earl Jones voice matchup mashup oh, when he cracked the, oh, the gave me when he cracked the oh, gave me dude, that was so all right. Oh, 
So uh, we'll we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that last. That... Clean up aisle of me. <laughs> <laughs> but no, if if we're gonna talk about that, so like I remember watching the episode, and I even went right to Willie right after, and I was like, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. It was literally that. It was that meme. It's like I'm not gonna lie. They had me in the first half because, like, <laughs> well, no, I just felt s- the first half of the fight. There was nothing there for me. Like it was a, it was a good f- lightsaber duel. But like I'm sitting there, like the emotional weight that should be there wasn't there right away. Yep. And I'm sitting there. I'm like, right. I was like, dude, I felt more weight and more connected. Oh, I needed something. I had more connection to the animated Ahsoka Vader fight in Rebels. Than I did at Ooh, the beginning. That was a good one. At the beginning of that, that fight, because one. they literally just like Vader just shows. Are up. Are we talking about the finale? Yeah, the final fight. Yeah, okay. like Vader just okay. shows up and they just start going at it or whatever. And it's not until uh, Vader buries him, which, by the way, missed opportunity to never let James Earl Jones say, "Now I have the high ground." Like, what the yeah, fuck? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, at him. I was just gonna say, He's like, yeah. "Now I have the high ground." It would have been perfect. I was waiting for it the whole time. Yes. It never happened. Uh. But like once that once that then they finally and you know Obi Wan cracks open the the mask which by the way dude the poetry and the symmetry between it li- that fight and then literally the lighting on Ahsoka mirror, it was a mirror image literally of Ahsoka Ahsoka took off mm, one yep. side and then Obi Wan takes off the other side. Yep, and just and then the lighting of the blue yeah, and the red. That whole so conversation, like it, though, dude, like, when his eyes were changing colors, literally though, mm. like that, that right there saved the fight to me. Because honestly, up until that point, it was a throwaway fight. Other than just like it, even showing how badass Obi Wan and Vader are in the ways of the Force. Accurate. Like, but other than that, there was nothing. There was no connection to it. And then yeah, that cracked. And then that conversation they had. Oh. oh, when his voice was changing, his voice dude, that, is changing. I had oh. chills. Dude, I, and like oh. you can hear, and like you can even see, like he's in there, yeah, like him going back and he's forth like, between. He was trying to, Anakin, like, cause yeah, he literally gave, he he let he gave his master the peace of mind. It's like it's not your fault. Yeah, like, yeah. You, that, you yeah. Had, he kept saying, "I'm the one who killed Anakin." That not almost, you. Yeah. that yeah. almost crushed me. Oh, I got chills Dude, just same, now. Same, oh, same, literally same. Like he, he, but yeah, like that, like <laughs> giving his his master and his best friend, like that level of like, even through all of it, he was like, "I can give you peace of mind. It's not your fault." Like, and then he goes. Then my friend is is oh. dead, or or is actually dead, or something like yeah. that, and just walks away. He's like, "Don't get me wrong." <sighs> like, big time moment. Ahso- oh, huge. Ahsoka's line comeback was still better. Then I will avenge his death. Accurate. Fuck yeah, Ahsoka. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <Ooh. Avenge him. laughs> and then the dope, like her dope ass uh, lightsaber when she pulls out both of them at the same time, and it just and the, the slow, the slow emitting Dude, of them, and he's just it's... like. I was there was, for that, but it was it was fitting though because Obi Wan at that point was a beaten down yeah like, like dude he, he was he, a he, he, like he just got his connection back with the Force like he wasn't he couldn't even do shit dude, he before was a straight that straight so, up like, bum for, for the first like three episodes <laughs> literally he just he was dude. just like all right bet he's like all right Anakin's gone like I'm out of here yeah. like. <laughs> so, we're gonna talk about those earlier episodes like. What surprised so me more than I, like a lot of, a lot of issues for sure like a lot of missed opportunity I won't even say issues just mishandled opportunities which I feel like that's been the status quo for, for Disney most absolutely of Disney Star Wars that Filoni and yep. Favreau haven't had full control over they they, they did not yes, have full control over problem. supposedly they have supposedly they've handed it over but they supposedly did that before Kenobi too so who knows yeah but. But like, still, those the- just every episode that was in between Obi Wan and Vader encounters was like it felt like filler. Well, episodes. And the, that's exactly like, what yeah. it was. The, the problem. That's literally that, what I it mean, was. Yeah, they yeah. were. But part of the problem they felt that way to me was, um, uh, who was the main Inquisitor? What was her? Reva. 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 It was Reva. such oh my a God, I poorly stand written her. character. Poorly hand, yeah. Poorly, poorly written. Yeah. Poorly handled. Like, like she got a lot of hate and whatever. I wish Obi Wan like. would have just fucking killed her. Like, just <laughs> such, a, such a bad character. Oh Disney... I will say this though. <laughs> but 
I love it when Vader handed oh, it to Oh, my God. It, it, it made scene. me enjoy it so that much more. That was, that was just showing badass. Vader just body. Body. Like, I mean, the ship. Rips the, using the force. Not even using the, the light ship. The, oh. Bro. Rips the ship down, and then he's like, Reva, you are so not even on my radar of a threat that yeah. I don't need to use my... <laughs> it's like, I must just force... force. I'm not even going to use my own lightsaber. I'm going to break yours in half. I'm going to let you have it. it. <laughs> I'm going to give you half, and we can go from here, but I'm not using mine because it's not worth... You're not worth my time. Like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're not yeah. worth Sassy my blade. Vader. I'm here yeah, for it. Fuck. I love it. When he, when he walked out of that tunnel and just grabbed that ship, though, it just gave me oh, uh, Force Unleashed that, vibe. Yeah. Just, yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Epic. That epic. Oh, that, that, would... that scene where just he, ripping that it apart. scene where he basically, like, gives her her lightsaber back, that was ultimate dramatic Anakin to me. That was not Vader. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Ultimate, yeah. just Stra- fuck you, I'm better than you. Straight up whiny, cocky <laughs> Anakin from the prequels just <laughs> get <Yep>. fucked. <laughs> good, good luck. <laughs> yeah, that That's was exactly that episode that was. was good. I will say that just because of Vader, basically. Yeah, yeah. because the whole Obi Wan running away from Vader was just that whole. Yeah, everything was. I'm know. not like. That's why I was disappointed with the Obi Wan series. I feel like it was because there was just so it was much. A lot of they blew running. all the yeah. fuck out of you. In the first there there was a lot of boring, was. but Vader was brilliant. Yeah. Obi Wan in the later epi- episodes was better. And Once still he stopped Ewan McGregor, being so a little I'm... bitch. Yeah, but no, like what surprised me more than anything about the series that I was super happy about was that Disney just said. Uh, okayed saying fuck it we're gonna let vader do what vader does and so and murder the first time people. we see first time we <laughs> yeah. see vader out, Dude, out, out in the murder, field dude. straight up snapping necks of civilians and i'm like this yeah. is disney <laughs> I, I, was, I love it. it. I was like, this is. I great. love it. It should be rated R. <laughs> like, even body, oh, like the force choking, dragging that one lady down the as he's walking Dude, down the road. That was so. It was just I the think epitome the ba- of just Vader being a fucking dick. <laughs> yes, I think the best way to sum up the show is like they blue ball you, but they like get you right to where you're gonna com- like right to the edge of completion, but never <laughs> let you follow through. <laughs> you know what? They, That's have, an they show statement. you so much with potent. They show you so much potential, but then they don't follow through with any. Like it's, it could be that good, but uh, it wasn't. I agree. Like, it, like there's so like. It was good, but it like oh, it could have been. How do we? Yeah. How do we feel about? Okay, so first off, before I jump into that, I have problems with the Grand Inquisitor. Oh yeah. The visuals. The visual was so bad. I'm like, dude, just find us. Like, I get it. Like, if you don't want to do the full (laughs) elongated head, pointy chin prosthetic thing, but like. Find a skinnier dude. Find a thinner like, face. God. Well, like, yeah. that's what that's what irritated me is because uh, Jason Isaac, who voiced the Grand Inquisitor in Rebels, wanted to do li- wanted to come back and play him live action, and he he's was already so a known good. terrific villain because he was good at voicing the Grand Inquisitor. And then you also look at him being Lucius Malfoy in Harry Potter. Like yeah. the dude knows how to play yeah, a villain. It would have been yes. like I did that casting. That would have been perfect. Upset me and made no sense. Like I said, get you to the edge of completion, but don't let you finish, man. <laughs> that role could have been so much so, better. How do we feel about there being And a then when they two. killed him, and then all of a sudden he just is gone for the whole yeah, season dude, until when they, the end. When they killed him in the first back. episode, I immediately called McCall and was like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> this, is pr- like, this is pre-Rebels. How are you gonna just fuck yeah. up? This isn't canon. What is happening? How are, you, how are you gonna fuck? How are you gonna fuck this up? Like how? And then the director of the episode in the episode seven or whatever is like, "Wait a second, that wasn't canon. Wait, we need to fix fuck. this." Fuck. Yeah. He's alive in like ten years. I was on acid that day. I don't know what happened. We let literally shit fly. ten we years shit. from now, he's alive mm. and being an asshole. Five. Five years. But, yeah, five years. Rebel. Five. Yep. Yeah, five. Rebels years. picks up at fifteen yeah. years. They they didn't even know until George called and was like, <laughs> <laughs> "What are you doing to my baby?" So halfway through literally. production, and they're like, "Bro, he's gonna come back. He's gonna come back. What? He's gonna come back as a 
a role of like overseeing your all. I, I think I swear I, to God. Hell no. I don't I don't know if we I see think, him I think, again, maybe in season two. Speaking of which, how do we feel about a season two? I, I, I would like I it, but it. they couldn't bring Vader back. Yeah. Like, if they if they would yeah. have to not have Vader in it at all if they brought a season. Agreed. Like, I don't un- it doesn't mm-hmm. make sense. Don't get me wrong. I will would see you bring more it. Ewan McGregor Obi Wan. Great. Season two yeah. of that show, especially now just... that he ha- like can use the force. Well, and they it brought in sense. they brought in Liam Neeson to just show up and be like, "I've been yeah. here the yes. whole time, motherfucker." We need to so that's why they could bring Darth Maul. So, into season so this two. is what, but they can't. No, they can't because they can't. They don't oh, need yeah. until they shit f- the bond Rebels. So yeah. Rebels is is the first time they see each other. That's so the my yep. my my yeah. thought on season two is it's going to be kind of centralize on obi-wan reva <laughs> i hope not <laughs> yeah. i mean she redeemed herself a little bit towards the end of the series in my eyes but i think she should have just died I agree. yes yeah yes. <laughs> like when vader yeah, now honestly, stabbed absolutely. her i think she should have. like I don't think... get me wrong that last scene she was on screen was easily her oh, best act absolutely it's not even close and the best right. yeah. scene that she had now, so, like, mm-hmm. but yeah, she should have just died. I think season two <laughs> is going to focus on him learning to become a force ghost. And yeah, if, yeah, if they, that, that would be, be and he could actually get a hold of if Yoda. they do that. I want a deep dive because, like, we get snippets of it at the end of. Well, it's not even. I wouldn't even say snippets. Like, literally, Qui Gon learns how to do it off screen. Well, yeah, but then and in, in Rebels, then... Yoda, it shows you, like, a quick 